Mech Hunter and chill. I don't want to play Mech Hunter. Ugh. I mean, I would rather not. I just want to play some more Beast Hunter with Bloodfin Raptor. So companion on free. If I top deck Frenzy, this game is won. I refuse to lose if I top deck Frenzy. I refuse. No more plot twist. Unfortunately not, I'm done. I already minned enough. Now I wanna like climb a little bit. Oh, how do they have this combo every game? Every game. He's probably gonna go second layer of frost, mirror image, uh, coin, uh, exodia, plus stable, uh, elemental evocation, mana cyclone. They have it so consistently. Every freaking game. Do I deadly shot? I don't know. He cannot play a giant, so whatever. Yeah, when I played Mage, I didn't draw like that. I think you need a special skill set. Maybe he put up a, a vape. If I still can go into my turn with uh, Rhino on the board, I'll start with Lynx. Of course he created another Ray of Frost. <sighs> Please don't be counter spell. Probably Vaporize or Spellbender. <sighs> if you don't kill Mage before turn 5, it's GG. <laughs> Sad but true. I mean, they can still do some things. Like, Zul'jin can still carry. Zul'jin can hard carry, trust me on that. But sometimes you don't get to Zul'jin because they just make an insane board on turn 7 or 8. How do you nerf Conjurers and Warrior? I would make Conjurers 5 mana. Maybe 6. Maybe 6. But I think 5 is enough. Vape. So 5 mana, and Warrior I would make Dr. Boom 9 mana, and I would make Omega Devastator not a mech. Just don't make it a twin spell. That will never happen. They have, they have to have like a specific number of twin spell cards per set or something for the lore. They cannot remove a mechanic because the card is too broken. So, if Blizzard can nerf a card by increasing the mana cost, they will always do that, rather than changing the card. And you can nerf Conjurers very easily by increasing the mana. I don't even think it's a good solution, I think it would still be broken. At 3 mana, and you can only play it once. I think it's a better nerf to make it 5. And you can play it twice. Time for the raptor to shine. Shine bright like a raptor. Oh, now he's gonna go mountain, uh, multi, uh, sea giant. 
course. It is not yet your time. <sighs> they have to have one of those. So they always either have giant into conjurers. Or they have the other giant with Khadgar. Oh, I do the Zulul. Zulul Jin. Maybe this game is winnable, huh? Secret plan? Oh, better. I don't have Unleash in the mix. Zul'jin is not stacked yet, as much as I would like to. Play Shikvala to beat these mages. And then queue into Warriors. But yeah, maybe Shivala is okay deck to play. The future is ours. Behold the tools of creation. I hope it's enough. Ah, I kind of wanted it on the beast. Okay. Sure. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Garbage. Garbage. Ah, I don't think it's good enough to win. I have a million skill highs, but how am I gonna use them to kill my opponent? I wonder. Just don't die and you win. <laughs> I mean, he has a card called Frost Nova. It's a pretty good card. You require my assistance. At least he paid full cost for it. Aha. He got three fireballs. Please no Nova. Maybe tracking was bad and playing Shimmer Fly. Going wide is good if there if there isn't second Nova. But I get pretty wrecked by Nova. Insta picked. Created by Oh man, this is so disgusting. How am I supposed to win in those dirty circumstances? He didn't fight. He didn't have it, and he, he top decked it. Created by, created by, created by. 
You stupid. Hmm. Ah, it's the normal one! Ah, still better than hero powering. I need to heal a lot to not die. Winnable. Wait, did I misplay? I could have just hero powered the thing. Jackson is right. Yeah, I don't need to kill command my own guy. I could have just hero powered it. I thought I might need the hero power for his guy. Actually, wait a second, guys. I would have needed the hero power for Tony if I wouldn't draw another scale hide from my flare. So that means I should have started my turn with flare. And if I draw another skill high, then I can hero power that. But if I play the... Yeah, no, I should have played Fla Flag first. So it was fine. Like, I didn't have the information. Oh, wow, he's trading. That's good. That's great. It's a great sign. Are we actually winning this game? No way. I want eight eights with rush in my hand. Next time Master Skull draws me an eight eight and also draws me a skill hide and I can play both. I think it's better than just putting even more skill heights in the deck. I think we're doing fine skill height wise. Like he still has mountain giants, by the way. Why? Why what? How is this better? Wait, you guys don't think it's better to put Wyverns in the deck? It's only just because of Master Skull. If you Master Skull with only Skill Hides in the deck, you're gonna draw one Skill Hide and that's it. If you Master Skull with a Skill Hide and Wyvern, you draw one Skill Hide and one Wyvern, and you can play both. That Power Swing is worth it on its own. Like, yes, Skill Hide is a better minion to have, but with limited card draw, it's better to put Wyvern just so you can also have uh, one extra minion in play. I want to clear a bit so I can deadly shot. Who is gonna benefit from the next expansion? Every class seems to benefit a lot. The class they give the least to is Paladin, but we didn't see 40 cards or so. After tonight I can tell you exactly what are the best classes. Or what I expect to be the best classes. I'm probably gonna make a tweet where I predict the... Uh, the classes or something, so that you guys can laugh at me afterwards. I mean, last time I predicted Rogue to be the best, and it was. <sighs> Finally won a game, so I can keep going with this. I'm so happy with myself that I managed to